with this RTK it's all been a new learning curve for us we've never set one up before we've never done anything with it before it's actually been pretty straightforward there are some bits along the way that you've got to know but um, the guys from the carrier our carrier and I'll link them down below I can't remember the uh, service name I think they're just called RTK uh, it might be something different but I'll link it down in the description for you to uh, have a look at they've been really 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 helpful and they know all the different types of steering kits out there we're now on 4g signal everything's working as it should i thought it was all set up but it wasn't i had a word with the guy just a minute ago and he's gone through some extra special settings that we've uh, adjusted and now we are we should be really really bang on the money now make sure you speak to your carrier when you're setting it up and they will go through every little bit for you and uh, those guys are really helpful. So I'll link them guys but down below and thank you to them guys for helping us out along the way with this. Let's go and use it and see what it does. Get some drone footage at the end and there you go. It's, it's actually really simple to do. Anybody can do it. If I can do it, you guys can set it up. It's um, pretty simple. We've got a machine on the back now. We're doing a bit of topping. We're in one of the paddock. Today's video is gonna be, a, it's just gonna be a short one this time. All we've done is set our A and B line up we're going straight. We've done the headlands of the field now. We've set the machine width. Now you've got to double check because what these man this manufacturer on this topper tells me that it's a 4.6 meter machine and it's not. <laughs> so you've got to actually cut a little bit, go out there. You're meant to go out there with a tape measure and measure it all um, to, uh, to see actually what's the cutting width of the machine. Some manufacturers are bang on with it, and some are a bit cheeky, and they'll actually put the width of the, you know, the framework and stuff like that, which we're just gonna get ourselves back onto the line here. And yeah, this is first time using it in the field. What we're gonna do is just start going up and down a little bit and make sure everything's right. I've set the machine up it says 4.6 meters i'm down to 4.25 we'll know in just a second it seems to be doing some nice straight lines and it's pretty straightforward really get to the end here turn the tractor around what we're going to do farmer's going to come up in a little while get ourselves close to the line the only thing I've noticed with this system is you do have to get yourself very close to the line and face in the right way before it will engage the steering. It's a little bit rough in this field. But if you look behind me, it's actually doing a really, really nice job. So once you've got your machine whips dialed down, uh, you're away. Uh, the only thing, other thing I would like to see on this screen is where, before you put your A and B mark in, I would like to see uh, the, I would like to see the machine width controls there, a button on here, and I'd also like to see an offset button, you know, if you've got machine out to the side or um, stuff like that. Uh, but apart from that, it, it's actually really, really smart bit of kit going to turn around here, get ourselves back on our line, get close to the line, press the button, and it's really simple. It doesn't get much more simple than that. I'm just looking at the wing to make sure it's cutting the right thing, it's bang on. And we'll leave this little strip we'll come back up for this little strip next to us and as long as the topper cuts both sides of that perfect we'll all be a happy man look at the rows beautiful and straight you try driving straighter than that you won't happen i know some of the old boys out there are pretty good but um yeah the steering wheel's doing all the work i'm allowed to look at the machine checking everything once you've had gps i'm telling you you will not go back um, it just makes the job so simple. You're relaxed at the end of the day. You haven't got to concentrate so hard. It brings on some bad habits. You do not want to be looking at your phone with GPS. There are other things that come with it. There's poles in the fields. You've got to be more alert in my eyes. 
Uh, there's been a lot of accidents where people have ran into poles, electric poles, stuff like that. So it can get dangerous as well. You've got to stay on top of it uh, and it's easily done. It's very easily done. Oh look, the headland's appearing. I'm chatting to you guys it, and it all comes quick. You're looking out the back window and you're at the headland. You can set markers on this screen. You can set markers on there to uh, warn you that the headland's coming up or to warn you that there's poles in the field. You can set markers for poles. There you go. Get on there, you monkey. I would like to see that from the Severkin guys. Sphere. For the sphere working guys, I'd like to see the tractor get onto the line better if they can do that via software. Um, this is a new, brand new system, so I'm sure there's uh, uh, software updates to be had. Let's have a little look out the screen. We want to, <coughs> out the back window. I'm catching that side. I'm catching that side perfectly. We look behind. That is just, uh, it's so satisfying when you can oh just and it's easy you're not overlapping too much and they they say oh you're going to save millions of pounds on fuel and chemical and fertilizer um yes and no you are going to save a little bit it's not as much as i i think they make it out coming up to the end here now i haven't left myself a big enough head then really i should have gone around five six times but it's not that sort of field i wanted to show you guys what it does this is my first line, this is where I set my A and B up, so that's going to be different. But everything else is going to match in perfectly. It's really good. I said to the farmer the other day, if, if I told you that tractors were going to be driving themselves, would you believe me? They were all like, no, no way. Look how far we've come. Now we can make tractors that are older drive themselves in beautiful straight lines at the end of the day when you've done a day on gps say you're cultivating or anything like that you come to the end of the day you don't feel stressed you don't feel you know when you're concentrating so long all the time at the end of the day you're like you know you've, you've done a day don't you but when you're on gps you just it, it's not the same it's um it's up near the line look bang that's impressive. Super, super impressive. And it's all about getting your machine width set right. You get that set perfect. And it's just, uh, oh, look at that. Look at that field. Right, anyway, farm's gonna come down. We're gonna get some drone shots for you. I'm really, really happy with this system. The, the one thing I'd like to see is um, an implement button where I can chain width, uh, change widths. Uh, before we put our AB line in, I'd like to see um, an implement button where we can change the width there instead of going through the settings. Hopefully with a software update, they can just have it so we can bring the tractor in a little bit earlier and we don't, haven't got to be so close to the line. So, you know, you just want the tractor to be able to bring you around a little bit better. But apart from that, it is a pretty sweet system.
hope you uh, can see what it's doing with the drone footage there. It's going to be a bit hit and miss because uh, you're jumping about in the tractor and uh, it's not easy to fly when you're in there doing that. But we'll keep you posted as we use it and uh, as we're going on with it. But a um, bit of kit, unbelievable. And I, I said it before, I said it again, once you've got it, you, you wouldn't do without it. It's just nice to be able to work sections and just turn back in on yourself, fill it in. Uh, you haven't got to turn so sharp. Uh, it's just so easier, it's just a lot easier. Everything's good quality, isn't it, man? Mm. You know, when you look at it, you think it's going to be, you know, not knowing what to expect. No. But looking at it, nothing's cheap, is it? Nothing's nasty. It's, no. Uh, beautiful. Good value for the money, I'd say. Well, look at that roller. Look behind you. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's you good. couldn't you couldn't do a straight line like that, could you? No, no, no. It doesn't save you your money, you would in time saving money, Matt, but it's a very straight sun out. Yeah. At the end of the yeah. I was saying earlier, at the end of the day when you've been on GPS, you're a different man, aren't you? You are not as worn out. Right, I'm like a boy of 18 anyway. Are you? Sorry, there we go.